We, the relatives of, uh, of our beloved uh, London family, Salman, Talat, Madiha, Yumna and Faiz, wish to convey our gratitude for the support and solidarity expressed during these last two and a half difficult years. We have felt this immense support from friends, family, and strangers throughout Canada, from all walks of life, including those from various colors, creeds, and religions. We can never truly convey how meaningful, meaningful everyone's outpouring of support has been. The affirmation that our neighbors and friends stand with us is valued beyond my year. We want to thank each and every person involved in this process. From the first responders, the police, those at the scene, the witnesses, the team of Crown and attorneys, the jury, the judge, and to all those involved in the pursuit of justice, we cannot thank you enough. While this verdict does not bring back our loved ones, it is a recognition by the justice system that the perpetrator of these heinous crimes is indeed a murderer and a terrorist. He intended to instill fear and terror in our hearts. However, this wasn't just a crime against the Muslim community, but rather an attack against the safety and security of all Canadians. The enduring grief, trauma, and the irreplaceable void left by the loss of multiple generations has pierced us profoundly. The victims, who were valuable contributors to the Canadian society through their hard work and education, were taken away abruptly, leaving a nine-year-old orphaned. Their loss and our pain will always remain valuable. This tragedy underscores the critical need for urgent societal reflection and action. This trial and verdict are a reminder that there is still much work to be done to address hatred in all forms that lives in our communities. His actions were intended to drive people apart this trial forced us to return to that intersection once again. The dreadful, cross, dead, uh, the dreadful crossroads where the very best and worst of humanity converged two and a half years ago. That juxtaposition between the diabolical intentions of a hell-bent criminal and the love expressed by beautiful teary-eyed strangers has become a catalyst for unity and justice. This verdict represents to us some solace for the crimes that were committed on that fateful day of June 6, 2021, which will forever be imprinted in our memory. We have not been grieving alone, and we are not healing alone. We pray that we can move forward to build a decent and just society. We remember, we mourn, we heal. We will move forward together, inshallah.